Today, we're going to talk about Lucifer the Biscuit Hammer, episode 14. So, keep on watching. Alam nyo, I've been following this anime even before the critics hub came back, right? Particularly summer 20, so, summer of this year. Uh, I ko na manoori ng anime nito. And, when the time the critics hub needed to come back, sabi ko, hmm, sabi ko na may asa may mistake to. It's well worth my, it's well worth reviewing, right? Each episode is, uh, wow. Each, each, each episode, at least in the, in the first half of its one, made me, really made me think. First of all, the business, the thumbnail. Hanako was finally decided to, um, in this, this final scene, okay? So, so, in our thumbnail, to, to forego college in, uh, for cooking school. Which is the original goal of the what we can say now for first love na si uh, na? si Taro, the uh, the last night. What well, we we found out that in the previous episode, which we weren't able to see. Oh, You can now say that uh, as a as a form of tribute to her to her fallen. To her, to her fallen boyfriend, she takes up cooking school. She decides to take up cooking school instead of college. Wow, how sweet that man. <laughs> Primarily, Hanako is the center, is the central character of this episode. Because sa kanya talaga na nakatone and um, she is the primary mourner here. Because she's talaga yung uh, nakasama ni Taro ever since, even before they became Beast Knights. Sila na talaga ang magkasama sa buhay. So, yeah. Kung sino man dito talagang nasakta ng gusto sa pagkamatay niya, it's Hanako. All the legitimacy of the episode, guys. This! From the moment, the 11 Eyes Go- the 11 Eyes Golem decided to, um, decided to play, uh, to play mind games with Hanako, this is where the pacing became really tense. It culminated in the battle scene later on in the episode. So, medyo bumilis na. Pero, it was a really good build up to that battle scene. It had a slow and excruciating pacing from, from that, from the, uh, the aforementioned point in the episode up to up to when the battle scene started. Kasi, nakafocus nga sa, sa sa emotional torment dito ni ni, ni Hanako. Because she, she lost a dear friend. Okay? She lost a dear friend. And I felt that. Alright? I felt her pain. I felt all of the Beast Knights' pain. To gano gano kalaki ang impact ni, ni Taro sa grupo ito. Right, he was he, he was a fun loving guy. And he knows how to cook, right? Cooking is his passion. So yeah, everyone loves his everyone loves his his company and his cooking. Kaya Randa po yung uh, yung pagdada ng hati ng uh, ng mga good guys dito sa episode to because number one of the pacing. Sakto lang for this kind of, uh, you can say, yeah, aftermath episode. Ha! Right? Ilang ang sabi ko sa pacing, guys. Flow the line. First gear shift here was when the 11 I Golem first confronted Hanako. Pero una, ang una niyang hinanap sila, sila Mikasuki at si Yugi. Why did I call us a gear shift? Well, simply that, folks. Because instead, uh, instead of um, getting getting paid back right there and then, Hanako probably uh, yeah um, used their brain cells here and just sat down and talked to the eleven eyed golem. Who is this guy? As Taro. Tikas ng mukha, no? Yeah. This is probably the first golem to ever play mind games with the Beast Knights. Right? And, right at that, kaya nga, kaya nga, kaya nga, kaya nga, 
ನಾವು ಅದನ್ನು ಹೇಳಿ ಸಿಗುತ್ತೆ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಹೌ ರೂ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಕೋಲ್ಡ್ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಗೋ ಟು ಶೋ ಯು ದಟ್ ಓಟೋ ಮಹಾನಿ ಕೋಲ್ಸ್ ದಿ ಆನಿಮಲ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ದೇ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಸ್ಟಾಪ್ ಟೇಕ್ ಆನ್ ದ ರೋಡ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಹೌ ಟು ಟೇಕ್ ಔಟ್ ದಿ ಎಂಪಿ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಗಿಯರ್ ಶೇಪ್ ವಾಸ್ ಒನ್ ದ ಟೈಮ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಆಕ್ಚುಲಿ ದ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಬ್ಯಾಟಲ್ ಸೀನ್ ಪೆರೋ ಪಿನಾಫಿಟಾ ಸೇ ರಾನ ಕೋನ ಪಿನೋ ಪುಂಟು ನೇ ಕೈನ ಬೋ ಇನ್ ಫ್ರಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಹರ್ ಪಿಕ್ಚರ್ ವಿತ್ ತಾರೋ ನೋ ಬೇರೆ ನೋ ಗೇಸ್ ಇಟ್ ದೇರ್ ಫೋರ್ಸ್ ಶಿ ನೌ ನೋಸ್ ಹೌ ಟು ಓನ್ how to take out 11 eyes on by yourself talaga mo disipido na siya na siya mismo ang tutumba sa kunyetang dolin na po final gear shift yun na ba yun? tatlo okay final gear shift was when Hako finally kills the 11 eyes on by him if that is a gear shift do you have to know what is this gear shift will also tell you na the enemy has overstepped its bounds well the beast guys are also ready to do that you know you so this thing gives us that i saw guys on all the other things that gives us to make it in the episode to plot wise we just have a past story say pinakita talaga rin do kung paano nagsimula yung yung uh, Long story, yeah, between Hanako and uh, Aro. So, nagjado ang plot, guys, because well, this is the this is probably one of the only instances where legit ang backstory, legit maglagay ng backstory. Bakit? Kasi namatay na lang kasama ang ang mga bide. So in uh in his honor you have to um, you got to tell the audience how how the how his friendship with Hanako began yung in in detail ha in detail leading to the to the, to the second gearship actually where Hanako cuts her hair and decides yep to to take out 11 eyes all by yourself pero oh, i can't i can't say no all by yourself dahil um pina pina lang buo muna ng mga ibang beast type to eh again this is the only probably one of a few instances where a bad story is so legit in an episode you you got some how big tribute to this guy Right, everybody loved him. So he was, uh, he was one of the, uh, yeah, he's one of the most, one of the most popular beast knights within that circle. So a backstory about him and Hanako will be just right. Kung mga final tribute sa sa character niya. That's what a well iron outplot can do to an episode. Kaya lalo tuming day yung impact ng episode na to sa akin at least for me okay at least for me i don't know i don't know about you guys on how it impacted your viewing experience this episode so let's move on plot they all came together for this episode folks so those who have the christian hammer episode 14 yeah it deserves it because of my mistake mm. Here's my parting shot for uh, for this episode. If you're still missing out on this anime, guys, I strongly suggest you start watching it. Kakaiba ang storya ng ng anime na to. And the way I see it, in for for 13, 14 episodes in, I can say that it's called well torture time. Ela na yon, na bawasan na mas sila. Nabawa sila mo sila ng ano, nakasama. Tapos na silang beast type na mamakay dito eh. So, all more, you should watch this one. Because the war has just escalated. Nabawa sila mo sila ng isang tao eh. And, on, on the bright side, they were able to take out the 11 eyes golem. 
Eh, kumbaga. Kaya, ang ilo ko si Ari ito, in stages pa nila kinanay. So, yung mga natitirang beast knights, sabay-sabay nilang inatake ito. Then, nung nag-request si Ako kay Animus na gusto niya pakain mismo ang 11 eyes to him. Siguro, at that time, diriko na ni Animus para harapin naman si Hanako. Eh, by the time, uh, this, yeah, this asshole golem uh, faced Hanako, he was already considerably weak. The, the twin beast knights was able, were able to, to destroy his shield. At talagang wala na eh. He has no means of defending himself already. So pagdating kay, kay Hanako, wala. Final blow na si Hanako. So, and wow, while, 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 she was, while she was killing this golem, you could really feel her pain. I felt that. Right? That's why I gave it the two thumbs up. So again, Lucifer the Fiscal Hammer, episode 14.